Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to remove annoying pops and clicks in your audio using Final Cut Pro 10. So say for example, you were you had headphones on or something and you were listening to this video, and all of a sudden, around here you, you heard like a weird pop or a weird click. And you're like, uh oh, that's a problem, I need to get rid of that or else the audio or else the audio is not going to sound as good. Now, one thing to keep in mind um, is record your audio as best as you possibly can. You can fix a lot in post, but it's always a rule of thumb to just record the audio as best you possibly can and don't always rely on post-production. That being said, you can do a lot through post-production. Okay, so let's say right here you saw or you, know, you heard a really weird pop or a weird click. Well, first of all, you want to keep like replaying it, going back and forth until you find like where the weird pop or that weird click happened. For example, I just put two markers right here. This is no special order, uh, but I'm just gonna use this as an example. So let's see, as you're listening, okay, you hear the weird, weird pop and a click, and there you go. You finally identified it's coming um, from right there. So what you wanna do is you wanna press Command Plus. Another good thing to do too is use headphones, especially when you're putting the final touches on your video, it's always a good idea to use headphones so you can notice those smaller things that you're not going to notice just by listening to speakers or when you have background noise. Okay, so there you go. We've identified the problem right here. This is where the weird pop and the weird click is happening. What you want to do, it's always encouraged to do um, uh, use the M tool. All you got to do is just press M on your keyboard. Um, it's the marker shortcut. Now, another thing too you want to do to really identify the problem because you don't want to cut out your own voice is use the right and left arrow keys and go frame by frame so you don't accidentally cut yourself off. So for example right here, when to press command B, use the blade tool and press command B2 and boom, there we go. You've isolated the audio, so this is where the problem is. You want to click on the audio clip, head over here to the audio effects panel, click on here, there we go, mute it. And now that problem should disappear. Now what you want to do is you can just zoom out and um, re-listen to the clip using headphones. Um, it's always a good idea. You want to block out all the noise, especially when you're putting the final touches on your edit. But there you go. Once you've cut it out, you want to re-watch the clip or re-listen to the clip. And make sure that you haven't cut your own voice out. Because if you've cut your own voice out, that's a problem. You can't always get rid of every single problem. That's why I said before, do your best to record the audio as professionally as you can in the beginning. But you can definitely fix a lot of stuff in post. So yeah, re-watch it or re-listen to it and make sure you fix the pop and you make sure that you haven't cut off your own voice. If you've cut off your own voice, maybe go frame by frame again and make sure you actually don't cut off your voice. Um, and again, make sure the pop and click is gone. But hopefully that helped you. Um, again, use headphones to make sure you can isolate the problem. You want to press the command plus or the command minus tool to zoom in to find to really hone in on the actual problem use the m key to uh, mark off the area that you want to mute and then always use the right and left arrow keys to go frame by frame sometimes you're not always going to be able to cut off a weird pop or weird click because that may happen in the exact frame where you're talking and then you'll cut yourself off which you don't want to do that so anyways, hopefully that was helpful, and once you have it all cut out, click on the clip, go over here to the audio section right here, audio effects panel, and click on the dialogue thing and mute it. And there you go. You have now fixed your entire weird problem. Whatever that is, that could be a lip smack, a weird pop, or a weird click. Whatever is for you, hopefully this tutorial helped you, um, and hopefully you found it incredibly informative. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials almost every single day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.